This hurricane season, you're going to hear a lot of weather terms about, well, hurricanes. Terms like storm surge, spaghetti plot, category. You probably already know what those are. But do you know what an invest is? And no, we're not talking about money. We're talking about taking a look at what meteorologists do to study and to help the public prepare for some of the planet's most powerful storms. Okay, first, let's talk about the word itself, invest. It's basically short for investigation. Now, it all kind of begins when meteorologists find an area of low pressure in the ocean. That's important because an area of low pressure is the starting point for all hurricanes and tropical storms and tropical depressions. So what happens is that since the atmosphere is all about trying to balance itself out, when an area of low pressure opens up, air from areas of high pressure move in to fill in that void. That movement of new air can then kick off a series of events that can build up to become a powerful storm. So back to invests. When meteorologists find these areas of low pressure, they then name it an invest to make it official that they are looking into, or investigating, the potential for the low pressure area to become something serious over the next week. Now, by calling something an invest, meteorologists aren't saying that that area will definitely absolutely 110% turn into a tropical depression or tropical storm. It's just their way of saying that they're looking into it. And mind you, it's not just any meteorologist off the street calling areas of interest invest left and right. In the US, it's meteorologists from three tropical forecast centers, the National Hurricane Center in Miami, the Central Pacific Hurricane Center in Honolulu, and the US Joint Typhoon Warning Center in Pearl Harbor that can officially designate an area of low pressure as an invest. But there's more to saying something is an invest, and this is where it gets super nitty gritty, so bear with me. Once meteorologists officially call an area of low pressure an invest, they also give it a number and a letter. Like the area of low pressure that would become Hurricane Helene in September 2024 was identified as Invest 97L. Let's break that down. The number that's given to an invest can be anything from 90 to 99. The numbers themselves don't signify anything except for where they fall in the order or sequence of invests being detected. For example, if an invest is given the number 97, that means it was designated after an invest was given the number 96. And why do the numbers fall between 90 and 99 in the first place? Well, it's because meteorologists use the numbers 89 and below for something else. That's it. And when meteorologists have used the numbers 90 through 99, they then go back to 90 and repeat the sequence all over again. Okay, we're on the home stretch. Stick with me. In addition to a number, meteorologists give invests a letter. This is to denote the body of water where an invest is located. So invests found in the Eastern Pacific are designated with an E, naturally. Invests in the Central Pacific are designated with a C. And invests in the Atlantic Ocean are designated with an L. Yes, an L. Why? Because A was already taken. But back to Helene. The area of low pressure where it was born, being dubbed Invest 97L, meant that it was a system that developed in the Atlantic Ocean. So there you have it. Invests are basically just a fancy naming convention used by meteorologists, but it's fancy with a purpose. Because once a weather system is officially designated as an invest, then it sort of opens the door for meteorologists to collect a lot more computer projection data on it. That includes being able to simulate where the invest could be headed and how intense it could be. Anyway, thanks so much for watching. To learn more weather terms and to stay up to date with all the breaking weather news, especially during hurricane season, be sure to watch Fox Weather on your favorite streaming platform and download the free Fox Weather app on your phone. Thanks, bye.